Well, welcome and thank you for joining me. <clears throat> My name is Sun Bob and we're playing Robocraft. And there is breaking news. The Robo News event, Horror in the Sky. Let's take a look at this. I haven't even read it yet. Let's get it a little bigger. There we go. Horror in the Sky. In light of the continued domination of E-14 airspace by CF Combat Forces, Dr. A. Griffiths announced a new development in Aeroflak weapon design. Updates to flak shell and fire control technology give E-14 service forces improved anti-air capability. The updated design uses improved fire control systems with integrated AI-assisted shell technology. Improved rate of fire allows successive impacts from these weaker smart shells to do devastating damage to air targets. Dur further, during Halloween, Aeroflak weapons will use holographic technology to transform incoming shells to appear as a horror-inducing image within CF culture. Dr. Griffith stated Aeroflak shells will take on the appearance of screaming skulls in an effort to take advantage of CF superstitions surrounding their most important cultural holiday period. E-14 forces will continue the psychological operation until it loses its effectiveness and Colonel Tur Turner stated we believe the holographic technology will have the terrifying effect throughout Halloween. What in the world? So, what they're playing with the Aeroflak. Well, Aeroflak definitely needs some love. So, AI-assisted shells. So, we've got... So, Aeroflak's going to be lock-on? The improved rate of fire allows successive impacts from these weaker smart shells. So they're going to be weaker per sh shot, but improved fire rate. And AI assisted, that to me sounds like it's going to be in the uh, Protoseeker and uh, Lommel category where it's going to be um, seeking uh, something like that where it's going to lock on to the is it going to lock on to the target? Interesting. And I'm going to guess that's what this picture is all about. That the flak shells are going to come up looking like these screaming skulls. That'll be interesting. So, again, we're trying out. I like what they're doing here. They're trying out a new buff or a new tweak to the system. And they're going to make it a fun event. For Halloween. It doesn't say when it starts. At least I didn't see it. Now the date is frequently a tip off, but that's actually today's date. We may want to take out an arrow flak and uh, see if that does if something is going on, I suppose. Have they already started it? I haven't been into a match today, so I can't tell you. All right, we also have an article here. Virus infections crate production. Virus infects crate production. An insidious virus was purged from production systems. Any crates produced before the production systems were flushed of the virus have the appearance of jack-o'-lanterns. UG diplomat S. Mandala attempted to assuage concerns about the crates despite their appearance. 
these crates function normally and the virus has had no impact on crate contents, claimed Mandala. Well, interesting. So we're going to have a little ha Halloween event. We're going to have the flak cannons throwing up uh, <laughs> screaming skulls. And our crates are going to look like jack-o'-lanterns. Interesting, interesting. Okay. And we had another little little bit of news. The Robocraft Spooky Bundle, if you are interested. The Spooky Bundle, you can buy, it'll have a flat gun, 30 days of premium, 25 Plutonium crates and a Halloween mask and bat wings. It will include, here we go, 25 Plutonium crates, 30 days of premium, four vampire bat wings, two vampire bat rudders, one complete spooky mask, and one arrow flak guardian weapon. purchase this pack now it says up here the price is going to be $8.99 in pounds $14.99 in dollars $11.99 in euros but I looked at this earlier and this has US dollars on Steam of just $11.99 so I would suggest if you're interested, uh, take a look at it, go into Steam and see what, uh, what it's really going to be. So it's sort of interesting. Check that out. I don't know that I'll do that because, uh, well, I, I, I don't see anything in there interesting for me. folks so, so we got a little news coming um, I do not know but I think we need to take out Kid Curry here that's about the only uh, plaque gun I've got right now let's take him out and let's see if something's going on if they're already doing it that's all right because we haven't had Kid Curry out in quite a while We'll just take him into... Uh, let's take him into a TDM for a quick little game just to try it out. Shredder on him. This is a big game the match. Team death match. Kill the enemy team to win. Two of the these guys have the shredders. Alright. Holy Toledo, what? There we go. I want to try the flak on that 
I want to try flak on that flyer. Flyer's been knocked down. Alright, alright. Sort of support here a little bit. We got two shredders here. Sorry. All right, where's that? Where did that flyer go? Good work, guys. Got him. Alright, let's get over here. I don't know. That flak certainly seems to be Got him that time. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Keeping him sitting down. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I sneak in from this side? Let's get out of there. I don't see the flyer. Did the flyer... And we got a team victory. We didn't do that well. We got one kill, three assists, but we didn't die. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not like I didn't see any screaming skulls come flying out of my flat cannon. But, uh... 
Maybe that's a, maybe you need to be on the other end of it. Nah, I don't think it's started yet. Hey, got a strut. I like that. That's worth playing. Well, I don't think it's out yet. Sure didn't seem to be anyway. Um, but that's all right. It was still fun to take Kid Curry out and play in a, in a quick TDM. Um, I don't play that game very often, and quite frankly, I haven't had Kid Curry out in a while, but that's all right. Well, folks, uh, that's the news today. Getting ready for the Halloween event. Looks like what we're going to be doing is uh, having some crates. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern crates, and we didn't see any Jack-o'-lantern crate, of course. Um, and uh, flying skulls coming out of the flak cannons. Be inter interesting to see what they do with the flak. Um, although it, this one certainly seemed to be effective against the one plane that was there. So let's uh, let's have a fun Halloween and be safe out there. So, folks, thanks for joining me, and as always. Do your battling in the games, but in your world, I bid you peace. Bye-bye.